Hello for the Supergo installation. First thing you do, of course, is look at the instruction manual. Of course, the next thing you need to do is take everything out of the boxes, unwrap it, keep your box in because you might want to ship it at some future day. Just put that aside. Be careful not to cut or scratch anything. And then the next thing you want to do is get out your bolts. They're all marked. So you know what bolts go where. Okay, step one, one, two bolts. Looks like about a five millimeter Allen head. Tighten those inside bolts here and here. That's one piece down. And step one, two, much like one, one. Take your five millimeter wrench, tighten on the base, and there you've got your second piece of your stand. And step one, three, you did take the base from step one, one, and you may have to gently pull this apart a little bit to slide it in there. It does fit. Steps one, three, and step two, you're gonna put these bases on. Secure them down, there's four bolts. This is your base. Step two, we're gonna take our second piece and we're gonna insert it in here. So you have to pry that little, not much, just a little, and get her in there, and then we'll bolt her down on each side. Okay, step three. We're gonna take these braces, we're gonna put them in the center over here, and bolt them down, screws in pack three. So you mount these, Allen head wrench, tighten them down, snug each side until it's all the way down and then you can crank it down. Okay, step number four is we take these support brackets. They come around, one end's got a little slot in it, that's the end you use the nut and the washer. You come down to the base, get that started, and then come up here underneath. Down here, these bolts are a little bigger. It takes a six millimeter instead of a five. Make sure you have millimeter metric and not standard so you don't strip the bolts. Make sure you get both sides, both ends with the support brackets. Get them snug down and then tighten them all the way. So you take and do your support pieces on both front and back and then off the back end you put these support pieces, it'll all make sense when you look at the manual. Just careful tighten your bolts, get them in, going in straight, screw them in tight, and you're good. Okay, step six and seven. You simply attach these two pieces together. I wouldn't snug them down too tight, you might have to adjust it in or out. But this goes in the front side, it slides in. This is what's going to take your paddle in a stand up position from right to left. So it's going to slide in there, and then you'll see the bolts for step seven, which will attach it to that bearing. The next step is step number eight. We're going to take and install simple attachments here, bolt it down, and use to put the console on. This console, in my opinion, makes a big difference to this device. So as you quantify and develop a reference point for your training. Okay, step number nine is going to be installing the flywheel. The motor of this baby. And they're very good motors, by the way. I've been using the Speed Stroke for about four years. It's a great, great piece. A little information here. When you go to install the flywheel, okay, make sure you put the resistance lever on top and even though the flywheel is sitting to the right of the frame you'll see that the wheels line up by wheels I mean the wheel on the flywheel with the wheel on the and so we've got our console mounted two bolts at the bottom the flies in the back we've got our little arm mounted here 
we're going to save these final adjustments for once we get the the board on and you can see down here where we've got where we screwed in behind that to secure this arm. Okay, step number 10, we're going to take this support bar. This is a protective piece. Take the bolts for step number 10. Screws, and you're going to come in here and line that up. Attach that little guard there. This is going to attach to it. But in between, for rollers, for the rope, to buffer the rope, there's going to be spaces between that and the flywheel. Both sides. Right there. Got to slip it into place. Line it up. Screw it down. Like this. To protect. Good thinking, Grayson. Okay, step number 11. Take this aluminum piece and bolt it to the frame. And then this is a fairing protector. A paddle guard, actually. Go around the fairing, and that's going to screw in here. So you'll find this piece for step 11. Bolt that to the frame. Come around with that. Paddle guard. This piece goes on the end. Points down. Here. Line it up right there. Take the little screws. Step 11 was getting the fairing on. And by far the hardest part was this little joint right here. Getting those holes to line up. So you might have to work with that a little bit. Okay, now we're going to put the actual board face, part you stand on, onto the balance base or sub platform, and then mount that to the frame. Okay, step 12, we're going to attach the spring base to the board base and then put it to the reel base for step 13. There's quite a few bolts. Make sure you've used the right ones. Short ones for here, longer ones for over the side. Use washers where you're supposed to. And we're getting there. Okay, our next movement, next step, is to put the top on. We attach the spring piece to the board. Now we have to attach the board that's attached to the spring piece to the frame. And that's real simple. Attach here, there, and back there. And for God's sake, make sure all bolts are tight. And there you go. We have it all together. We have to install the paddle. I should show you first. You take the rope out of there, take it down underneath the wheel on top, over, around the back side of that spindle, up here, around the front side of this, and it's going to go back to here. So you take this out, it just comes out of here, it was screwed in there, you take it out, we're going to take the rope and put it through. We put it through and we tie a knot. Make sure the knot's down real good. We'll take it, we put it in the end, and we're going to put our screw back in there, tighten it down. You'll be ready to go.